Hi, my name is Dr. Samantha Halliday. I'm an associate professor here in Durham Law School. I'm also the director of the LLM in Medical Law and Ethics. In this short video, I'm going to outline the program for you. I will talk a little bit about who it's designed for, about why you should come to Durham to do your LLM in Medical Law and Ethics. I'll also talk about how the LLM can help with your career development. The LLM in Medical Law and Medical Ethics is a multi and interdisciplinary program that enables students to develop a critical appreciation of the legal and ethical issues raised by medical practice and science. One of the innovative features of our LLM program is its interdisciplinarity. So the LLM in Medical Law and Ethics will allow students whose primary focus is upon the law to take a number of related modules from other schools, from geography, from philosophy, from anthropology, sociology, medical humanities, and so on. What it permits then is a broad appreciation of the law and ethics relating to human health and well-being within a concept of law that is aimed at conserving the world's capacity to preserve life. The programme benefits from the research strength of CELLS, that's Durham's Centre for Ethics and Law in the Life Sciences, which counts many of the UK's leading medical lawyers, bio-lawyers and ethicists within its membership. Our research in medical law and ethics is cutting edge. It feeds into our teaching. So if you take our LLM in medical law and ethics, you won't simply hear about the law. You'll be taught by people who are shaping the law, people who are having an impact upon the development of the law in this incredibly fast moving area. You'll also join our diverse, vibrant and stimulating community. As a student on the LLM, you will be able to join CELLS and to take part in the exciting events that take place throughout the year. We have an annual lecture, we have a number of seminars given by both internal and external speakers and the seminar programme runs throughout the year. For example, a recent highlight was Professor Reva Siegel from Yale, who gave a seminar about the impact of Dobbs, the case where the Supreme Court overturned Roe and Wade, finding that a woman does not have a constitutional right to abortion. Our postgraduate community is fully embedded into the academic and social life of both Durham Cells and the Law School. We have one of the highest concentrations of medical lawyers in the UK with an exceptionally strong research centre. So coming, coming to Durham will give you exposure to and interaction with some of the leading scholars in this area. So now I want to give you an overview of the program itself. The program has three core modules. The first of these is contemporary issues in medical law and ethics. This core module is a 30 credit module. It forms the basis of the LLM and it runs throughout the year. Now there is a separate video about that module and I recommend that you have a look at that to get a better understanding of exactly what will be covered in that module. But essentially it focuses on particular issues in medical law and ethics for example, end-of-life decision-making, genetics, consent. As I say, there's a whole video about that module, so I recommend you look at that. Contemporary issues in medical law and ethics then forms the core module that underpins the programme. You will also take applied research methods in law. This is a 15 credit module, and this module will prepare you to write your dissertation. Your dissertation is the third core module. Dissertations can be 60, 75 or 90 credits depending upon the word length that you choose. The dissertation must relate to an area of medical law and it has to engage with both the law and the ethics. 
But your dissertation is a fabulous opportunity for you to undertake research in an area that fascinates you. This could be a first step towards further study, for example, a PhD. It may be self-contained as a, a dissertation for your LLM. But this is a really exciting opportunity for you to identify a topic that you want to research. And obviously, we will support you with that research through the supervision that you'll be given. In addition to the three core modules, you will study a number of optional modules, bringing your total credits to 180. The number of optional modules will depend upon the length of the dissertation that you choose to write, but you'll be expected to choose between three and five optional modules. I think the optional modules are the really exciting and innovative element of the LLM in Medical Law and Ethics here at Durham. What you can see from the list that I've posted on the slide is that there are immense opportunities for interdisciplinary study. So you could choose to do all of your options within the law school, for example, choosing to study comparative medical law and ethics, fabulous module that I lead together with my colleague, Dr. Camilla Pickles, separate video on that for you to find out all about it. Um, there are many options that would be relevant within the law school, but you could also choose to do all of your optional modules outside the law school. We have a huge range of modules with specialists offering their expertise, research-led teaching from a number of departments within the university, including philosophy, anthropology, sociology, medical humanities, geography. There's a really long list. I've put a link to the full list for you on the slide, but you can see in the box that there are some really exciting modules that I've highlighted for you. Durham Law School is one of the UK's leading law schools. It's a centre of world-class legal research and offers a supportive and stimulating place to study. Our programmes attract excellent law graduates from around the world, but the LLM in Medical Law and Ethics is not limited to those who have an undergraduate law degree. So it is certainly open to those who have studied law at undergraduate level, including those who have studied medical or health law, but a law degree is not required. It's equally suitable for people with a background in law, medicine and the allied disciplines, or even an alternative discipline such as medical anthropology or sociology, for example. So it's open to anybody who has a strong interest in medical law and ethics. This is an intellectually demanding research-led programme that will equip you with key legal, analytical and research skills that you are going to need for the future. For some, this programme will be a stepping stone, a step towards doctoral research. We have a flourishing doctoral community within the law school, a number of PhD students who are researching in the area of medical law. Perhaps you would like to join them. For others, for example, medical practitioners, this program will provide a supportive and challenging environment in which to conduct research in your own professional context. The program will also provide a valuable opportunity for those who already work in the legal, health, public, government and voluntary sectors. It also, though, would help to prepare you if you want to pursue a career in any of those areas. Essentially, the skills that you gain whilst undertaking the LLM will stand you in excellent stead for your future. So hopefully you have found this short video helpful, providing an overview of the programme, of what you can expect, of what makes Durham special. If you have any questions at all, please get in touch. You can email me at samantha.halliday at durham.ac.uk. I look forward to seeing you in the autumn. Bye-bye.